Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of What the Bloody Hell Is This? No, honestly, I have absolutely no idea what I'm getting myself in for with this review. I'm not even sure if it's a cider or anything, but it has Apple in the title, so it's got to be fair game, isn't it? Today, I've got... I don't even know what company it is. Billy Bootleggers, I'm guessing so, but, well, I'll go into a little bit about that after, um, after I've shown you what it is. It's a bottle of Billy's famous apple pie moonshine. Yeah. Just let that sink in a little bit. Um, yeah, I have absolutely no information about this particular drink at all. While I was with uh, my wife in Newcastle, there was indeed a bar called Billy Bootleggers. And it has their logo on here, Billy Bootleggers Dive Bar. And I'm assuming that this is their own brand of alcoholic drink. I can't see them making it themselves, so I don't know who produces this at all. There's no information online at all. There's no website. They just have an Instagram and a Facebook for their bar. But it doesn't really mention this drink at all. There was different flavours from the little bowl shop that I bought this from. Uh, but, yeah, there's literally nothing about this. It's bizarre. The thing that um, raises a lot of bills for me straight away is the word moonshine. Because, well, I've had a couple of moonshine ciders. And let me just tell you, they're probably some of the worst liquids I've ever ingested into my mouth. Um, I think it was either Broad Oak or Lily's did a moonshine. I don't know if that, I think they still do. Um, I don't ever go below a 1 out of 10 for my bottle reviews, but if they ever did that in bottle form and I, some reason, actually bought it, that would probably be the one and only 0 out of 10 I would ever give because it's just that abhorrently bad. So, I tried to be unbiased with these things, but yeah, that's kind of um, getting me a little bit concerned. What I will say is the label does feel quite nice. I mean, it's not your usual, typical label. It feels quite smooth and matted, but anyway, that that's besides the point. So yeah, Billy's famous apple pie moonshine, the new water. Comes in 330 more bottles and is 6.5% ABV. And the top label says moonshine for president. So clearly this is going to be quite a gimmicky uh, drink or something. Moonshine is probably good for you. A delicious cider and spirits drink thing. So they're not even sure what this is here. <laughs> this is supposed to be. Um, yeah, not really filling me with confidence here. And that's literally all you get on the bottle. There is nothing about what's actually inside it, where it comes from, who makes it. If you can find any more information, guys, then feel free to put it down in the comments because I literally could not find anything. So I'm going in completely blind with this, as I have most drinks on this uh, channel anyway. So is it a cider? Is it a spirit? Is it neither? Let's find out. Um, yeah. I really don't know what to... Oh, okay. But that's the first surprise. It's completely still. I don't know if it's meant to be, but yes, it was. Um, just a plain, plain light purple bottle cap there, so, all right, okay. Hmm, ooh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the first smell instantly took me back because I wasn't expecting it to actually smell of apple pie, but sort of artificial apple pie? Mix, hmm, there's something underlying that. Hmm, ooh, okay, the more I'm smelling it, the more it's like, okay, not sure. Right. Well, it's sort of pouring like a still cider. That definitely looked thick coming out, though. Blimey. Okay. Um, right. You go over there. Uh, yeah. So, well, there's there's the colour for you. Bl Dark amber. Like, pretty much nearly copper coloured. Um, in other respects, it could potentially be like muddy dish water almost. Uh, but yeah, completely opaque. Can't see you guys through there at all. So yeah, that's, um, well, no filtering has been done in this, whatever it is. So let's see what it smells like in the glass, shall we? Okay. So there's a hint of apple pie. 
like cinnamon, cinnamon and spices and stuff like that. But underneath that, there's there's something not quite not quite pleasant. I can't quite make out what it is. It's like a strong, strong alcoholic spirit presence of some sort. Almost, I, I want to say it's almost like vodka in its smell. Oh, what am I getting myself in for for this one? Um, yeah, let's waste no more time. Let's dive into this, shall we? Cheers, everyone. What the bloody hell is this? Let's find out. Cheers. Okay. Man, that is ridiculously sweet. Whoa, that is so sweet. My goodness. I think we've got a contention for the sweetest drink I've ever had on the channel. And I have had stuff like Copperberg, Recordling and Brothers <laughs> before. This is insane in its sweetness. My goodness. That is such a bizarre taste. It is almost like they have liquidized an apple pie, like totally liquidized it, crammed it full of glucose, fructose, syrup, sugar, anything else that can give it sweetness and thickness, and they've just crammed it into this drink, whatever it might be. Um, I don't know what to make of this. This is utterly bizarre. And underneath, underneath all that, especially as it hits your taste buds, there is this strange, it does almost taste like vodka underneath it. But I can honest, man, the cloying sensation at the back of my throat is one of the worst I've had for a long, long time. Um, yeah, really super, super syrupy, thick body behind this. Whew. Man, wow. Um, I mean, it, it, I suppose it gets the taste right a little bit, but man, it's lingering. I can feel it coating my lips. It's not, it's not really pleasant. I'm already, I'm already getting um, recurring like burps from it as well. Oh, this is, this is not nice. This is not nice. It's, I mean, guys, if you like sweet stuff. I think even you would have a hard time with this. I really do. It is lit it is almost akin to just like, you know, the syrups you get in coffee. It it's about as thick and as sweet as one of those. You, it, like just pouring a bottle into this glass and drinking it from there. That is essentially what it is. And actually, yeah, the more the aftertaste come through, the more I'm getting this it's it's like musty, it's funky. And it's also, yeah, like vodka. That really cheap vodka. Cool. I don't know who this is trying to market itself to. I really don't. Mainly because I, if you, there's no information about it at all. It's just a random thing I saw and I was like, oh, okay, that sounds interesting. Um, it was quite expensive from what I remember as well. Uh, I think it was like nearly three quid for this bottle. I would not pay that at all. Um, yeah, I don't. I can't. I can't recommend this. I really can't. Um, final taste before a final verdict. <sighs> My man, 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 man. That is. That is. That is really hard going. Really hard going. Um, gonna say this now. I'm not gonna have any more of that. That is 
way too sweet, way too syrupy, way too thick, way too cloying, and the flavours aren't that great anyway. Even like, the apple pie essence of it is now disappearing and this weird, funky, vodka-style taste is overpowering it now. Not great. Not great at all. Um, yeah, no, I really, I really can't recommend this one at all. It's not the most vile tasting thing I've ever featured on the show, but it's still not great. Um, yeah, for a final verdict, Billy Bootlegger's Apple Pie Moonshine is only going to get a 2 out of 10. Um, yeah, I really cannot recommend this at all, especially for the price that I paid for it. Um, I got thoroughly cheated out of my money on this one. Um, Billy Bootleggers? I don't know. I don't, yeah, I just have no idea about this. If you see this, if you're even remotely intrigued by this, don't be, I would say. Just, um, yeah, avoid it, personally. I mean, if all Billy Bootleggers are actually watching this, which I doubt it, can you give me more information on this? Because I'd love to know exactly who makes this for you and what you make it from. Because you have definitely got one of the most unique tasting things out in the market. It's just a shame that it's not really a great tasting one, in my personal opinion, anyway. Um, so, that's another episode of the What the Bloody Hell Is This Drink <laughs> for you guys. Um, I hope you liked it, and I will be back with another delicious and, well, hopefully tasty cider soon. Uh, until then, well, I'm going to sign off, and that is going down the sink. Take care, guys. Till next time.